Sam Pao good choice. Ah, no. I prefer just add some soy sauce. Hi guys, it's Cheryl. Today I'm gonna review Uncle Roger review Crazy Italian Chef Egg Fried Rice. I'm afraid of Western Chef baking egg fried rice because I got so much fame from Jamie Oliver. And sometimes I think they just have a misunderstanding of the egg fried rice. But I will see what will happen in this video. So come watch with me. Today I am making egg fried rice because Uncle Roger asked me to do that. Oh, <laughs> I like his accent. Okay, this Italian chef Vincenzo really doing it, but can Italian chef make good egg fried rice? It's just my personal idea. I think Italian chef make a tasty food because many Italian dishes are so tasty. Or is he gonna end up making egg fried risotto? Hello, <laughs> niece and nephew. It's risotto. Uncle Roger. We just hit four million niece and nephew. Fuyo! As promised, it's Uncle amazing. Roger gonna make my own ramen. But Uncle Roger still happy. Thank you for being Uncle Roger family. Make Uncle Roger feel so special. You make me feel special. <laughs> <laughs> nice opening. I'm making egg fried rice and he's going to react to this. So I'm gonna make it the most authentic, delicious way. Oh, he even dressed like me. <laughs> but Uncle Roger think orange look better on me than him. <laughs> the day before, oh, two days before so you make egg fried rice, you make the rice. You never make the rice on the same day. Correct. You should treat rice in egg fried rice like Italian how you treat chef. your partner after big argument. Leave them alone for a few days. Maybe throw them in fridge. <laughs> hmm. You have to use Chinese rice. But normally Chinese rice comes in big bags of tanki. Correct. We like to slap them. Asian <laughs> grocery store. I spoke to the older lady in there and she said to me, you don't make fried rice every day. What you need to do, get the Thai rice. Huh? I spoke to the older lady in there. Hmm. Is you this... speak to older... Is this old lady from Thailand? Lady, I hope she actually worked there. I hope this Vincenzo guy don't just go to random Asian grocery store, speak to random Asian old lady and go, woman, where the rice? That's the only thing you old Asian lady good for, answering my rice-based question. <laughs> so get a Thai rice, which is this one. Thai rice look good. If you're making a risotto, an Italian risotto, we don't wash the rice because we want the stuff Correct. on the rice. But this is Asian. <sighs> But will they be very dirty? Asian cuisine, okay? You... He wash rice, that correct. But his washing rice motion, so awkward. Usually uh, yeah. we spin our hand around rice bowl like this. What do you mean? But he washing rice like this. What this motion? This motion is what teenager do in backseat of mom car. Now we are going to oh. cook the rice in a rice cooker. Rice. That's amazing! Rice cooker. He's second right, so white person to have rice cooker after Uncle Joshua. <laughs> we cover the rice with a chicken stock. Nice. Oh, now stuff. we put the lid on. Hiya, but Vincenzo, your rice cooker too basic. Don't be so demanding, Uncle Roger. Hey, this is for student, this rice cooker. You 600,000 subscriber. <laughs> Get better rice cooker. Baby elephant brand rice cooker. <laughs> This, this friend really need to sponsor Uncle Roger. Oh, I talk no. about this rice cooker so many times now. Soji Rushi people, sponsor Uncle Roger. <laughs> Guys, the rice should look like this today after. This nice rice looks and dry. Good. Look nice, look nice. Yes, Thai rice is like very delicious. To make the perfect egg fried rice, we need simple ingredients. You need simple and correct. <laughs> like Jamie Oliver, his recipe is so simple. <sighs> But wrong as shit. We start from the shallot. Hello. Shallot, good. Uncle Roger believes shallot onions are not good, good enough. Onions are for cheap people. Not cheap people. I say it for poor people. <laughs> Never... Damn, I can't buy shallot in my province. <laughs> Maybe we're just a poor province. I'm gonna use three garlic cloves. I think nice garlic, good. Enough. Correct. Here I have a beautiful homemade chili jam. Hiya. Why are you putting <laughs> myself in there? Uncle Roger, do I even need to review? You already have my review in your video. Hiya. 
I was going to say, the chili jam is not to be used in this recipe. So you make it and keep it in the fridge. <laughs> For this recipe, okay. we're going to use you. a fresh Whew. chili. So I recommend you to use sambal. It's a mm. nice... Sambal, good choice. Ah, no. I prefer just add some soy sauce. Like Uncle Gordon, he used sambal in his egg fried rice. But Uncle Roger, I prefer Malaysian sambal balachan. Not sambal ulek. Spring onion, we're gonna use Then those I'm gonna two. use four eggs. I'm gonna get nice sesame oil, soy uh, sauce, nice pepper. All ingredients correct so far? Gin olive oil. Hi. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> I'm jogging, I'm jogging. <laughs> Don't joke around like that. Olive oil is a sensitive topic for Uncle Roger. <laughs> Guys, if you want to add any other ingredients, you can. You can use vegetables. Don't use vegetable. Vegetable tastes like sad. No, <laughs> vegetables are good for you, Uncle Roger. Vegetables are good for you, Uncle Roger. Yeah, but so is prostate exam. Uncle Roger don't want that with my egg fried rice. Hiya. So I'll tell you one thing, I went to the shop Ooh. to buy this, Ooh. and this is all in Chinese. MSG Dish is good. Actually, I use this kind of MSG. To make powder. For you. For you. It means it's good. I don't want to know what's inside. I don't know what's inside. You don't know what's inside? It's so easy. MSG is salt on crack. So <laughs> inside, it's salt and crack. Let's cut our ingredients. And I'm using a small mm. knife. Big Chinese cleaver. Not bad. That is what I use every day. But so why do you add sambal? You have so many Chinese ingredients, but we Chinese don't use sambal to make egg fried rice. We want to cut the shop. Nice chopping. Now we finally, finally chop the garlic. No, 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 that's not how you're supposed to chop garlic for egg fried rice. You're supposed to chop them to tiny pieces like your shallot. Why you mm. slice them? Who want to have slice of garlic in your egg fried rice? You're just eating the egg fried rice, then you get hit by a big slice of garlic. <laughs> Who want that? What if he just fried these garlic pieces? So weird. Is this some Italian cooking technique or something? Now we finally, finally chop the garlic. Also, you have big Chinese cleaver. Use it to smash your garlic <laughs> first, so your garlic don't run around. So much shallots and garlic. I'm starting to cry over here. Oh. I don't know how Uncle Roger does it. Very simple. Uncle Roger used up all my tears when Auntie had oh, left. Oh, heartbreaking. My heart is so empty, just like the fridge. <laughs> now we're going to get two egg yolks and two entire eggs. Good. And now we're going to whisk the eggs. Whisk, whisk. I uh, just use chopstick to whisk egg. Real Asian people, we don't have whisk in house. We never use this even to make cake. No. We just use chopstick. Hi, Vincenzo. Italian people don't know how to use chopstick, is it? Now I'm gonna add the sambal mm, again? in the eggs, okay? I put it in the eggs. Interesting ah. technique. When I mix it, time for cooking, guys. So I get a wok and. That not wok. Rice. Where that... your wok? Where oh. your wok? Oh. oh, I'm sorry. No, well, this is the wok I make pasta with. It like Uncle Roger there to help out Uncle Roger. This Italian chef is funny. I meant get a walk, a Ooh. real walk. Ooh. This is my. You see the light inside the walk. I... This walk looks so nice. A personal walk. Look at this. It looked like it used before. It has patina. Walk is the only thing in house you want to see black and blue, not your wife. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> Turn the fire on, okay? In 2021, you can use induction, yes? Real fire, so satisfying. Fuck induction stove. If you have induction stove at home, use real fire and burn it down. <laughs> Put vegetable oil in there. If Correct. Want, cook the wok. So we just make it hot, spread the oil. This is an important utensil. You do need this spoon, which is perfect for egg fried rice. Okay. Uncle Roger preferred the round bottom ladle. You know, like the one uh. Chef Wang Gang used? Because that one you can use to punch the Always rice to loosen it up. And Vincenzo, this spatula also look a bit too small. Hmm, let's see how it look with his wok later. This was recommended to me by the lady at the Asian grocery store. She yes, we use this to cook. I mean, if you use a very big ladle, it is for very professional chef in China. Not sure about that.
She said, get this one because this is the one I use. Hi, yeah, I don't think she even worked there. Vincenzo, stop asking random old Asian lady stuff. And now we're gonna cook the shallots. Shallots go in. Garlic, okay. Correct. And garlic. Good, good. His hand going into the wok. Compare that size to Uncle Wang Kang Lei size. Vincenzo, spatula too small. I wonder what else too small <laughs> about him. <laughs> Sorry, children. We can put the egg. Ready? Oh, this the egg like mixed with the sambal together. So we... Look how beautiful. Oh. Okay, now let's add the... Hi, yeah, the egg look a bit muddy. That's why Uncle Roger always separate the egg from the sambal. In my family, my grandma just like cooks the egg first and put it aside and then just add other like garlic, onion together and rice and then put back again. And I found that many videos, they just like to um, put the garlic and onion in first and then add egg. But the egg is just liquid at that time and I'm just a little bit, maybe it's a different method. Okay, now let's add the rice, which I'm gonna get with my hands. He's just One. using feeling. Perfection. Enough. Perfection. I think maybe, maybe a bit too much rice for the size of his wok. Let's put the shallots. Spring Let's onion garnish, last step. Nice, good. Stir, so stir, stir many. All your ingredients. Mm, see, too much rice. The rice almost falling out of wok. Hiya, spatula too small. Wok too small. Everything about Vincenzo too small. <laughs> Feel bad for his wife. Now just gonna add some pepper. Pepper, good. Let's put a nice amount of soy sauce. Soy sauce, correct. Generous with the soy sauce. Okay, enough. Be en enough. Generous. Enough height. Stop. Yes. Stop. <laughs> enough height. Yeah, that too much soy sauce. It but different brands of soy sauce have different tastes. Like some soy sauce are more salty, and some soy sauce just tastes a bit, little bit sweet. So it really depends on what brand you buy gonna be so salty. Your whole fried rice gonna just taste like soy sauce, Vincenzo. <laughs> you just need one splash, one splash soy sauce uh, on the side of what? That it, like you're pouring wonga. soy sauce in there like you're pouring white wine sauce for pasta. Let's put sesame oil, and again. Okay, don't put too much. Oil. Enough, yes, that, enough, that, enough. Let's Hi, be stop. Generous. Don't be so generous. Be a bit more stingy with your sesame oil. Fried rice and everything in life, it about Balance. He put so much oil in there. Dubai just called. They want their oil back. <laughs> and now Nowadays, the oil is so expensive. But again, let's mix, mix, mix. I love doing this. Nice tossing also. The sesame oil makes love with the egg fried rice. <laughs> I uh, don't use make about? love and egg fried rice in same sentence. That's how Uncle Roger get fired from <laughs> Chinese restaurant. This is Uncle Roger's favorite time. MSG! Please. MSG is king of flame. Hiya, you put Uncle Roger in there too much <laughs> now. Don't put me on cloud. You make me look like I did and gone to heaven. <laughs> that is true. Of course, Uncle Roger going to heaven. Anyone who roasts Jamie Oliver automatically get entry to heaven. Let's put as much as we can. Come on. Okay. Oh. That's, that's too much. I mean, he added lot of soy sauce and now a lot of MSG. Oh, okay, is enough, that enough, enough Uncle Roger? Hiya. Is that enough Uncle Roger? Too much again. Uncle Roger making egg fried rice video. I learned MSG need to be about balance also. <laughs> Don't put too much. Just put right amount. That is Uncle Roger. Personal growth over the Whoa. last year. Oh, is that enough Look Uncle at Roger? this. Look at enough, this. Uncle You're trying to make egg fried rice, not remaking narcos. <gasps> Vincenzo using MSG like how he using parmesan on pasta. It's so weird seeing him use all Italian technique but on Asian food. And also this music. It looked good. Not suitable for egg fried rice. Good color. Look like it tastes delicious. So you see the rice? See, they're all individual. They're not. And a little bit charred. That's not bad. It's not wet. It's... I mostly like the charred part. It's dry enough. There it is. It looks nice. Well, Uncle, Ro Uncle Roger hungry now. He's using feeling, but it's more Italian feeling <laughs> than Asian feeling. Thank you again, niece and nephew, for 4 million subscribers. Bye bye. But Uncle Roger reviews so many things now, like ramen, fish, 
and intellectually challenge people. <laughs> so don't complain. I review egg fried rice at most once a month. Stop bitching. Hiya. I really learned a lot of knowledge from his egg fried rice video. I thought it was just a very normal way of very daily food in my life, but when it comes to Western countries, it's like, <gasps> what are these people doing? Like, they just add random thing into the fries and also add an egg and they just go egg fried rice. That is, <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, for egg fried rice, you should treat the rice like how you treat your partner after big argument. Leave them alone for a few days, <laughs> Maybe throw them in fridge. Please don't. That's the only thing you old Asian lady good for answering my rice based question. That is true. Like, Asian lady are always good at cooking because we usually eat rice daily. <laughs> they just know everything about it. Don't use the word make love and egg fried rice in the same sentence. That's how <laughs> Uncle Roger got fired from Chinese restaurant. <laughs> Different version of an old joke. <laughs> if this brand don't sponsor Uncle Roger, Uncle Roger gonna start eating packet rice from now on. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> if this brand don't sponsor Uncle Roger, I gonna buy all the Jamie Oliver cookbook. Don't so torture Rushi, yourself. sponsor Uncle Roger and send one to Jamie Oliver also. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video and I think this chef did not bad and actually I even want to try but I think it will be really tasty and I suggest to add some white sugar at last because it will make the flavor more better. Thank you for watching with me. Don't forget to give me a like or subscribe and I will reply to your comments. Bye-bye.